up YouTube. This is going to be my my first thoughts on my new Ninja 300. I only bought it two weeks ago, and it's going to be my 1,000k thoughts because I'm very close to a thousand k's. So I think I can justify doing in a thousand k vlog. I'm sitting at 780. Let's just call that 800 because <laughs> that's closer. Oh, look at my perfect hill starting abilities. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to give you a basic overview and let's just start, like my first thoughts on the bike. Let's start with this. How was that? That was 0 to 80. That's not even 100 because I didn't want to get pulled over. <laughs> I don't even know if that was good. It probably looks not very fast on the camera because I notice it doesn't with my camera, which is weird. Let's just down change and not get killed. Goody. Okay. But yeah, that was just a slight demonstration on some of the potential power you can receive out of this 300cc bike. Because, let's be fair, the Kawasaki Ninjas have been 250s for the last couple years. This is the first 300 they released and I think it was a definite step in the right direction because a 250, like I know people that love their Ninja 250s but you really have to try to get good power out of them or so I've heard and I haven't ridden any big bikes yet I've only ridden the 300 and the 250 when I was learning and I rode a 125 which was ridiculous who would want a 125? like honestly if you're, okay I, I can understand if you're in the city but if you don't live in the city and you live where I do, you know, where you have to get to the city by the highway and you have to get to the, like, the coast by the highway, it's just not logical to get a bike that isn't really built for the highway. <laughs> but, um, oh, I love dodging the little pavement on the ground. Uh, but yeah, in power-wise, this bike is spot on, you know? Perfect power for a learner. And I know people that rode big bikes that even have fun on this. I've read some blogs where they're saying, you know, I really like that new Ninja 300 because I can I can really try without knowing I'm going to die, like, you know, without worrying about death. <laughs> Which sounds weird to say, but you have to really understand that when you're riding in a 1,000cc, 600cc bike, if you rip the throttle down, you will flip or you'll do a wheelie or you'll wind up in a bush. Like, it's uncontrollable speed. You really have to control the speed when you're riding a big bike. <coughs> Sorry. Riding a little bike like this, it's light, it's got the nice amount of power you need. It's perfect for a learner. I hate that turn, I hate that turn. It always like it's a big crest right as you're turning and I have a weird fear my wheel will slip out. Yeah, like, in terms of power, this is spot on. I wouldn't go any higher than 300ccs for a learner. I know people that have gone to 1,000 on the 600 for a learning bike. Because on a RE license, my first restricted open license, you're allowed to get a 600cc bike. I just don't want to because I choose life. <laughs> no, well, it's not that dangerous, but just when you're learning, you really have to be careful because, you know, it's hard. Learning is hard and people make mistakes. I've made mistakes. I made one just before. I nearly ran into a car on the way trying to get to where I was going to vlog. And it freaked the shit out of me, you know? Everyone's going to make a mistake every now and again. And at least, if you're on this bike, you'll be known, you'll know that this bike will not throw you off when you make a mistake. Like other big bikes might. This bike will say, it's okay man, you'll learn it pats you on the back and takes you to a dinner and, you know, spoons you to sleep at night. It'll comfort you in your times of need, is what I'm saying. But yeah, in terms of power, spot on. In terms of handling, it's a very light bike. So, it's 170 kilos. I'm pretty sure the Ninja 250 was only like 5 or so kilos or pounds or whatever. Lighter or heavier? No, lighter. It was definitely lighter because this is a little bit heavier. A tiny bit, like five or six kilos. I'm not too sure. But 
but it's a light bike. It's in the very lightweight class of bike. So it's very flickable. It's easy to maneuver out of trouble. It's not that easy to drop, because it's not, well, any bike's easy to drop, but this is much less easy to drop than um, bigger bikes are. Like the Kawasaki 600, for example, when I looked at that in the showroom, I couldn't even pick it up to stand it up, like, straight. That was how heavy it was. Maybe I'm just a weak, weak little nerdy gamer boy, but I couldn't even pick that up to straighten it up like this, like how I'm riding. Whereas this, you know, I can lean it. I can lean it without worrying about falling over too much. And, you know, it's that extra sense of relief that you know you're not going to die. You're not going to drop it. To be fair though, I have dropped my bike twice already. And let's just forget that, that little fact, because that was just me learning. And I'm very upset that I dropped my brand new bike, and I'll make a different video about that. I did not get it on camera, thank God, because that would have been embarrassing. But I did drop it. So that's embarrassing. But, you know, it's very easy to use. It's a learner-friendly bike. Another great thing, besides the handling, the power, the looks. Like, that's one of the best things about this bike. <clears throat> I've had many people come up to me because I work at a video store and I keep my bike parked right out front. I've had a few bikers pull up, look at my bike, come inside, ask me, is that your bike? I say, yeah. They say, what is that? 600? 1,000? I say, no, man, that is a 300. <laughs> and they're like, whoa, that looks really nice. And I'm like, thanks, dude. Like, oh, wow, there's a whole new tennis court there I've never seen before. Oh, awesome. But yeah, like, it looks amazing. It looks like a really nice bike, and... There's nothing written on the bike that says 300 unless you get the special edition, which I wouldn't recommend because I like having the black edition, black version. But, you know, different people, different choices, different tastes, I mean. But yeah, there's nothing written on this bike that says 300. So it just says Ninja and it just looks awesome. And it's got aluminium foot pegs, just adding to the fact that it might be a thousand CTs because that's what they have. It's just, it's really nice. And yeah, in terms of looks, this is probably one of the best looking learner bikes you can get. It also comes down to personal taste, but I like sports bikes and this is a sports bike, so this is what I like. But I'm sure everyone who's seen this is thinking, wow, that looks pretty sexy. And then they look at the rider on it and they're like, wow, he's also really sexy. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but yeah, looks, it looks amazing. And after riding it for a thousand, for around about a thousand kilometers, I can happily say my money was well worth spent, you know, it wasn't the cheapest bike, it was only about a thousand more than the Ninja 250s were brand new, the 2012 versions, but that's to be expected, you know, this is a brand new bike, so it's obviously going to be a bit more expensive, but I was willing to part with my money for the looks, the power, and the knowing that I'm riding the newest and most advanced Ninja on the market today. So yeah. I just took that roundabout really slowly. Um, in terms of gears, like gearing, first gear I've noticed is really short. Like I can only get up to about 20 k's. And I'm like, whoops, I'm about to explode. Because <laughs> my legs are like vibrating the fuck out of me. <laughs> Um, let's go right. So yeah, in terms of gearing, first gear is so short. But that's okay, because second gear can go really slowly. So it makes up for second gear. Second gear is also nice and lengthy. I'm pretty sure I was in second gear then. I'll have to double check, but I just got up to 80 in what I think was second gear. We'll have to double check. All right, so then getting down to the fine details and the things I don't like, okay? This is the final part, the things I don't like and the finer details. Finer details is the dashboard is awesome, digital dash, much better than the 250, so they're also still good, but this is just bringing it into the 21st century, pretty much, just bringing it into the, the new age of awesome digital dashes. 
Um, and other final details would be the exhaust is really nice. I've noticed some new bikes, they just sound a bit, ugh, they sound a bit toyish, not too much of a, a beastly bike, you know what I mean? This has a good middle, middle ground, it's not terribly beastly, it's not terribly childish either, it's nice in middle ground, it's nice for a starting, starting exhaust. Um, what else is there? Alright, things I don't like. After my 1000 Ks, things I don't like is the clutch. I don't like the slipper clutch. I probably already expressed this in my first vlog, but I learned on bikes that have regular clutches, and I think like slipper clutches are good, but they're just not really necessary. Like everyone should learn with a clutch. If you've learned with a slipper clutch, you're letting yourself down to get on other bikes. What is everyone stopping here for? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, and like the slipper clutch is good. It's awesome. Don't get me wrong, but it's just an unnecessary addition. Like this bike would have been awesome with a regular clutch. There's no doubt about that. And to have a slipper clutch is good, but it just wasn't worth. I think it would have added some dollars onto the price tag as well for Kawasaki, and I just don't think it was worth it. Like a regular clutch would have done just fine. But it just shows off how much of a learner bike this really is, you know, it has the looks to be awesome, but it also is a learner bike. Anyway, I've spoken for way too long now. I've probably got like a 20 minute video going. I don't know how long this is. Uh, I'm going to end it here, but I just wanted to make my statement on what I'm feeling about the bike. Overall feeling is really good. I'm really liking this bike. It's awesome. I love the power. I love the looks. I love the handling. I love how light it is. I love the dash. I love the foot pegs. I don't know why I'm focusing on the foot pegs so much, but I just love them. <laughs> and yeah, I just love the bike. Small problems. Well, it's not even really a problem. It's just a personal choice. Small personal choice, but other than that, Anyone would be good to ride on this bike. Probably the only downfall, logically, for people would be the price. You know, it is $1,000 more than a regular thing, and if you get the ABS version, uh, it's a bit more again, so... Yeah. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to do a... I might... I probably will do an official review review once I get a bit more miles on it. A little more kilometres. Around the 2000k mark, I might do an official review, sit down and write all my stuff out. I'm not a professional reviewer or anything, I just bought the damn bike, I'm a learner. But I can give it from a learner's point of view. But yeah, if you're looking at the Ninja 300 as a possible new bike you can get, I'd say definitely get it. You cannot go back to the 250 once you have got the 300. There's no going back to the Ninja 250 anymore. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Please comment if you want to ask anything about the bike. If you want me to do any specific videos, let me know in the comments as well. Other than that, have a wonderful, amazing day, everybody. Haha! <laughs> yes! I got the nod! <laughs> that was awesome! Gotta celebrate with some slaloms. Bah! That was pretty shitty slaloms, actually.